Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my final video in the Sire Guitar Mini Series. So far we've looked at two budget guitars and then last week we looked at the hollow body with P90s. Today, well, let's find out what's in the bag. Okay, first look, here we go. It is a gold top and not only just a gold top, but a gold top with P90s. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I see a gold top single cut with P90s, well, it just hits a little bit different. And this guitar visually, you know, really harkens back to those early to mid 50s Les Pauls before the humbucker was even invented. Now, it might look like that, but there's a lot of features on this guitar that make it much more modern. So although it might look like it, it is not a vintage reproduction of a 50s Les Paul. Most notably, you can see features like, well, locking tuners, fantastic. We've got a bone nut here, like all the other sires, fantastic. Check out this. Can you guys tell the neck is satin? I don't know why more manufacturers don't do this because it is literally the best. And I can think of three other companies maybe over all the years I've been playing that do this, but check it out. Beautiful satin, mahogany neck, and then transitions into high gloss. And of course, we've got that huge scoop right there so you can get your hand up. So right off the bat, you know, you got locking tuners, you know, satin on the neck, some nice ergonomics on the back. Uh, it tells you right away that, you know, this is gonna play really well. Now, as for the front face, well, we've got an ebony fingerboard with those trapezoid inlays and it definitely goes along with, you know, the very traditional look of this guitar. Now, as for how it feels to play, well, we need to talk about the neck some more because anytime I evaluate a sire, it's all about the neck. These guys do such a killer job on their necks. So the binding on both sides, top and bottom, have been rolled off in between the frets. So there's no sharp edges there and every single fret has a beautiful fret treatment that you just don't see on other guitars for sure in this price tier, but you know, usually in much, much higher price tiers as well. The fretwork and the satin on the neck and the rolled off fingerboard edges and the ergonomics there just make for a really, really nice playing experience. Now, as for the body, it's mahogany. I think let's take off the covers and look inside uh, as well, just because I'm curious. Um, so mahogany body, it's got a maple top. And then if you have the flame version, it's a veneer on top of the maple. So you have mahogany, maple, veneer. Obviously on the gold top, you have mahogany and maple. Now as for the electronics, very traditional, three-way switch, two volumes, two tones, stop tailpiece, two pneumatic bridge. And if these P90s are anything like on the semi-hollow, the H7, uh, I think I'm in for a treat. So let's uh, take a look under the cavity covers there and see what the electronics look on the inside. All right, you guys have pulled off the screws, but I have not looked inside yet. Let's see if I can uh, pop this cavity cover off. It's in there really good. There we go. Okay, well, nicely shielded, full-size pots. That's what we're looking for. Very nice. So no areas of concerns there. Nice to have the full-size pots for sure. And yeah, everything looks really, really good. All right, well, I'm gonna put it back together. Let's plug it in and take a listen.
So here are my thoughts on the Sire L7 P90. Now, whether you like this version with the P90 or a regular humbucker L7, uh, these guitars are just some of the best mid-range guitars uh, money can buy right now. And for me, there's two main reasons. Number one, the overall price um, <laughs> competes with the best of them. Like these guitars are very reasonably priced for what you get. And number two, it's the playability. So even though this guitar looks the part of, you know, maybe a chunky Les Paul, real heavy, you know, maybe a little tricky to play, but just sounds awesome and feels awesome. Uh, but it combines those cool looks with just sublime playability. And that's the second thing that makes it stand out. You've got the price and then you've got the locking tuners. You've got the bone nut. You've got the ebony fingerboard. You've got the rolled off binding. You've got the fret end treatments. You've got the satin on the neck and you've got the ergonomics. Um, so you add up all those five or six things and you're like, I don't want to stop playing this guitar. This is just such a fun guitar to pick up and play. And uh, weight wise, I, I put this on the scale, it was 8.4 pounds. So right in the zone. So not overly heavy. In fact, for a guitar like this, that's pretty, pretty good. Anywhere between eight and 8.5 pounds is excellent for you know, a Les Paul style guitar. Uh, yeah, so for me, those, those two things, the price and just this whole area is just awesome on this guitar. So yeah, and other than that, love the P90s, sound awesome clean, hit it with a little grit, and uh, yeah, <laughs> sounds awesome too. So really well made, things like the stop tailpiece, tunematic bridge, directly and perfectly upright. You know, sometimes you'll see on some guitars, like, they're kind of leaning forward from all the tension from the strings, perfectly straight, electronics, full-size pots. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fault this guitar for something, and, and it's really hard to, especially, you know, um, versus all the other guitars in this price tier uh, that I have played over the years. So yes, excellent guitar. It combines that, that vintage look with that modern playability. Uh, a lot to like. Thanks for coming along, you guys, on my Sire Guitar mini series. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. I will link to the Sire Guitar down below, along with all the gear I use for my videos. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the series. We'll see you next time on a new one. Take care.